I didn't plan on making a film about puffins when I arrived in Iceland, but when I got there I met a puffin biologist who told me that this particular region in Iceland, which is the Westman Islands, happens to be the largest breeding colony of puffins in the world. They're everywhere. My name is Mariah Frostick. I'm an Earth Science film producer at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. I make web shorts, short web videos, on various uh, climate change topics. So that's often involving satellite data. I don't often get to go into the field for these kinds of projects. People in the Westman Islands care a lot about puffins. The first settlers who arrived in this region really depended on puffins for survival. And in the last three years, the puffins' food supply, which has been abundant throughout history, um, has started to become scarce. In the years since I went to Iceland, um, they have drawn a connection between the disappearance of the puffins' food source and climate change. Phytoplankton is the basis of the marine food chain. And throughout the world, we're seeing decreasing phytoplankton, and that's connected to sea surface temperatures increasing slightly in the last decade. And the way NASA fits into that whole picture is we have a whole suite of Earth-observing satellites, one of which, SeaWIFS, is measuring global levels of phytoplankton. So researchers around the world are able to use data coming in from SeaWIFS to study things like the puffin's food supply in Iceland. So it's a pretty unique connection that this data set is available. It's not just for scientists, it can be for fishermen or other folks that um, might be interested in what's happening with the basis of the marine food chain. The whole reason why I chose to go into science filmmaking is because I'm interested in communicating science stories. And I work at NASA Goddard because this is where some of the most amazing science in the world is happening.